What's up, fellas? We have a pull day today. I'm gonna go pick up my friend Ethan and looking to hit some deadlift PRs. What? You like my shirt? Let me smash. Dude, where do you get that? Zoomies. You just got that? Yeah, at the mall. That's such a Zoomies shirt. And this, and these shorts. Deadlift PRs too? Yeah, or I'm gonna go for it. We'll what see. are you trying to hit? I'm gonna see if I can hit 405 again. And it's like... Crashing down all around this empty town. We're searching for the lost and found, but you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. Do this 
seen blaming you, you did not know oh. I thought you were the one for me That's why I give you everything As you crouch by the stormy seas Oh, you meant the world to me Posted an Instagram Q and A like a couple hours ago. We got like a couple hundred responses. How tall are you? I'm six three. Five five. Yeah. Isn't that wait? Do you claim five? Are you five five to the birds or five six to the birds? Five six, obviously. Five, yeah. Obviously. You, you add one more inch when a girl. Well, asks shoes you. on. I mean, you know, you can exaggerate. <sighs> Ass or tits? Ass all the Ass. way. Million percent, dude. Tit, yeah, but like tits can make an ass better, but ass. Wait, no. <laughs> wait, what <are> you <laughs> dude. Wait, ass with no tits can work, but tits with no ass can't work. But ass and tits, um, like, it's like synergistic. Yeah, I, um, I agree. Yeah, dude. I feel like it's ass and face. Yeah, I, tits don't really matter to me, honestly. Yeah. Uh, there are like a million advice to gain muscle mass questions, and it's literally just eat more and train harder. Yeah, That's so basically what you want to do if you're going to try and gain muscle is you want protein synthesis, which basically means you're feeding your muscles with protein and you're gaining muscle. So the best way to do that, I got this, we both learned from Greg Doucette, is that you try and have protein in every one of your meals and try and have at least... Yeah protein three times in, or three times a day five times five, yeah. five times a five, day five 20 grams of five protein. protein meals per day yeah and protein. sleep and, and train sleep your sleep is important and train hard word uh is it better to separate into arms legs shoulders chest legs or is it or push pull uh it's all about preference i feel Dude, wait, push. when you're a beginner, you should do full body, though. When you're a beginner, full body every other day is probably the best. On it, personally, for me, if you're gonna like, if you're a beginner, I would do push pull legs. Push pull legs as a beginner. Yeah, but like you just you don't need that much volume. Like your yeah, chest, but will, you don't have to do that. You much can do like these. four sets of bench, and your chest will be sore the next day. Well, yeah, because you're like, not used to it. But. When I was a beginner, like I just went to the gym and like blasted myself until like I couldn't move the next day. Yeah, when I was a beginner, I just did like a bro split, like chest tries. Yeah, I feel like buys, that's a mistake that most legs. people make. I mean, it works because as long as you're working out, you're gonna get stronger. You know what I mean? Like if you're a beginner, it can't hurt you to you know yeah. just lift. Six hours of sleep enough to build muscle. I think that people recommend seven to nine. I would just recommend Dude, Ar getting as much Arnold sleep as possible. You, Arnold man. used to do six hours of sleep, but then again, like... He's a fucking genetic freak, so... Yeah, and back then, like, they believed straight bro yeah. science because there wasn't a lot of science. He would yeah. say, like, I would wake up at 4 a.m., I, I only need six hours of sleep, 
but some people say they need eight, but no, you only need six. Like, no, just go to bed at night, wake up whenever you wake up, and yeah. as long as you're not, like, getting four hours of sleep, I think you're fine. As long as you yeah. feel energized. Uh, what song was used in your latest vlog? It was Feel by Dark Rehab. The same song in Lex Little's Transformation. Um... Tips on getting out of a no motivation slump. I think this is for you. Get a girl to break your heart. No, that's wait. That's how that's how you get. I guess so. But also, I would say. No, but um, that's how you get unmotivated. Mm, oh yeah, I guess I'm like like I'm the opposite. But all, all I would say to being motivated is um, really just like I don't know, look at the gym a different way, like. I would say just have different perspectives. Try and get a workout partner. They help push you a lot. Like me and like when I work out with Ben, I'm a lot more motivated. I work way harder than if I'm by myself, you know? So like just try and get, you know, somebody to work out with you. Um, and just be consistent. Like it might yeah. be hard, but if you stay consistent over time, you know, it starts becoming a habit. They say 21 days feels yeah. a habit. So just keep- Success is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. That's some Thomas Edison shit. Wait, perspiration? Like sweat, sweat, hard, hard, oh, hard yeah. work, hard work. Oh, okay. Not, uh, let me just quads see. or biceps? I gotta go with quads. Yeah. Dude, if you're um, gonna have... No, the short shorts is the new thing, like... Yeah, dude, short shorts with... Dude, there are people... So many people pull with, like, short shorts and, like, huge legs with no upper body. Look at Dan Bilzerian. Yeah, dude, Dan Bilzerian. He's the... He's, like, the CEO of quad super biceps. I, yeah, he's, a. Uh, dude, his... His legs are massive. And his veins are insane. Yeah. Dude, Dan Bilzerian, if he had a small waist, he would look insane. That's like... He has his... money, so he doesn't need anything yeah, else. Yeah, no. <laughs> dude, the only bad part about Dan Bilzerian's physique is his waist. I He he actually has like a 35-inch waist. Yeah, he's like almost 40 though, right? So he looks yeah. really good for... Yeah, he, you know. he's on TRT though. It's not that... Matter, like... He's on TRT and Cialis. Or... Cialis. Uh, let's see. Some good ones. Why are you the only person I've ever seen with veins in their abs? Literally anyone that's about to step on stage has ab veins. How many calories should you eat if you only lift weights? <laughs> that's bit, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> what app is good for exercises? Um... So when I first began, I downloaded the Nike Fit app. They have a lot of like good beginner stuff. Um, My Fitness Pal for tracking calories yeah, for sure. But um, yeah, um, I would say you don't need to track when you're beginning unless you're trying to cut weight. Like if you're trying to gain muscle, don't really track. But just kind of know. I would say you don't need to track your calories. Just how much protein you're getting in. I think that's the best way. But. How old are you? I'm 19. I'm 17, but I have a beard, so I look 21. How long is your average workout? About, what, like one and a half, two hours? I, it depends on the day. Like, deadlifts, warming up, it takes a while. Yeah. So, I, how long were we here? Like, For two like, hours? Yeah, two hours. But I'd say on bench, probably like an hour and a half. Yeah. Um, it all depends on what we're a doing. A lot of it is day. warming up for compounds. Yeah. Make sure you warm up and stretch, or else you'll hurt yourself. Is it okay to be taking creatine at 13? Yeah, creatine's not like, it's not a miracle drug, it's not a steroid, it's just like, it's gonna help hydrate your muscles, help your body use ATP better, help it regenerate ATP to help with those last few reps of a set. Like, it's nothing crazy. I'll just add on to that. And so basically what creatine does is it saturates all your muscle with, you know, creatine, which helps like retain water so basically when you're on creatine and you drink a lot of water your body holds up more water than it naturally does and so basically you'll be heavier and you can you know like laws of physics if you're heavier like statistically you should be able to lift more weights that too yeah how many birds you got how many birds i got <laughs> I what, like, what like what do you mean what does it mean by do, you got like yeah like, like hooked what, up with or? like what does that mean that you like, like, I don't, I don't own them. I don't own yeah. birds. They're not objects. Shit, shit, let's go. Yeah, birds are people too. Tips on pushing out the abs. Planks and... 
I, okay, Dude, per- fuck, we, fuck we, planks. Okay, so He's we, been making me do, like, two-minute plank holds. We, we disagree on this, but I'd say to get, um, to really thicken up your abs and make them pop, do planks because they'll hit your whole core. But I would say if he, he's, like, really into, um, leg Hang, raises. Hanging leg raises. Hanging leg raises, and that'll get more your lower abs, which is a lagging point in basically everyone. So, Dude, um, everyone has upper abs, but no one has lower abs. Yeah, but I mean, I don't right. know. But I'm just saying, planks yeah. are probably better for core, for stabilizing your core and getting it stronger. What motivates you to get stronger? To it's, get... It's in my DNA. <laughs> just for fun. It's yeah. fun to get stronger. How long did it take you to bench 225? Too fucking long. I'm too. I'm so close. I hit 220 yesterday. Going for 225. Dude, if you went to, if, if you didn't like max out, if you didn't rep out 185 and 205, you would have gotten 225. Yeah. That's Best chest and legs targeting exercises. Bench and squat. Yeah. It was like, what was? What's your weight when you were obese and your weight now? Like, I don't know. I was never. I was never really obese. I was probably like. 20 22 percent body fat and obese is like 25 percent but i would okay when i started lifting when i was 17 i was six foot one and 190 pounds and now i'm six foot three like low 180s like i was 181 this morning yeah i'm about so when i first lifted do you want me to answer this sure okay when i first lifted i was about so i'm five five i was like 135 pounds weak as fuck um, started lifting right now. I'm like 148, 150. I'm probably around like 18 to 20 percent body fat. Back then, I was probably like the same or a little bit higher. Uh, my knee sucks. Is there any alternative to squats that puts less stress on the knee? I'd say like just try to get into using knee bands or and knee wait, wraps. And body squats and lunges. I'd say. Yeah, I guess lunges put less stress on your knees. Yeah, because you're not, like, going it's yeah. full force, you know? And, like, you don't have to do squats. You can just do accessory movements, but you have to do more. Like, if you're doing quad extensions and hamstring curls, you can still get big legs, but you just might have to put more volume into those, That the volume that you would have put into squats. Favorite bicep exercises? Curls. Dude, curls the only the thing that... The only thing that you can really do for biceps is curls and like yeah. different variations of curls. Yes. But okay. yeah, but when you're doing back exercises like lat pull downs and supinated grip rows and stuff like that, you're gonna be hitting your biceps too. So yeah. So yeah. So I mean, if you do like close grip like rows or like lat pull downs with the close grip, it'll get a lot. Of, it'll target a lot of your bicep. Also, my favorite bicep exercise would be twenty ones, which is like you grab a barbell. You go seven halfway up. Um, seven, seven, the other half. Other half, and then seven full. Yeah. All right, the camera just died, so we're switching to Ethan's phone. Uh, is it better to cut or bulk first? Um, definitely bulk. I would say try and get as strong as possible and try and put on as much mass. You're gonna gain fat, but that's just part of life. You can always shred it off later. Yeah. Um, what I rec- so what I recommend is you bulk for like a solid, like if you're a beginner, um, I'd recommend bulking for maybe like a half a year to a year. Uh, not like super hard. I would say just eat a little bit more than you normally are because you're gonna gain muscle because you just started at the gym. Yeah. Um, but I would say when you start cutting to lose that fat, slowly do it so it's more it's easier to you know like stay you know consistent with it and you're not gonna binge eat or want to like kill yourself basically. Yeah, I'd say just to clarify, that's like under twenty percent body fat. Yeah. Dude, if you're if you're like twenty percent body fat or more, like you you have no business bulking. Like you don't um, need to gain any more weight. Yeah, I, yeah. Like when I started, I was probably twenty two percent, and then I ate pretty much nothing because I didn't know what I was doing. I thought that like you just eat protein and that's it. I have I was on like zero carbs for like three months, and I dropped down to one sixty five, <laughs> and I lit. <laughs> no carbs. I, yeah, dude. I feel like three months into lifting, I looked about as bad as when I started. Yeah. Yeah. I dude, I looked like I had like keto face, like the <laughs> the like the jaw. Well, like, you can see your eye sockets. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like I I was like accidentally on keto. What kind of SARM did you take? 
Uh, it's this new SARM called Trend Balloon Acetate. Yeah, we're both on it. You know, yeah. we inject about a thousand milligrams a day. Yeah, it's it's weak so stuff. So about a gram a day, you know. Yeah, it's pretty weak. I mean, relatively weak. Yeah, like. <laughs> I don't know. Best pre, best pre workout for beginners. I would say when you're a beginner, uh, that's about like, what like. I would say you're a beginner until you lift for at least a year. Um, I always say G Fuel. Code yeah. Ben Don ten percent off or yeah, G Fuel or really cans good. of Monster. Oh yeah. Because like they're they're oh, they have God. a decent amount of caffeine. Like I think a scoop of G Fuel has like one sixty and a can of Monster has one forty. One, no, 140. 180. I think it depends on the color. Okay. But the point is, like, they have a decent amount of caffeine, but not too many other stimulants. And, they have like, yeah, like, the shit that I take, dude, don't take it if you're a beginner. Unless you're, like, already, yeah, unless you're already mad addicted to caffeine, you don't need that. Don't take that if you're a beginner. You're going to scratch your eyes out. Yeah. And you're so. going to be super itchy. Wait, tell them the story. Like, remember that one time at Crunch? You like poured the whole thing oh yeah dude i so the first pre-workout i used was c4 which c4 sucks by yeah, the way don't, don't buy it don't take c4 it's shit. so like i there were like a couple scoops left just like a little bit left in the container so i just poured some water into the container like shook shook up the whole container right after school yeah there was probably like three and a half scoops in that yeah i'd say it was like 400 milligrams yeah no, there were three that. i just rem and then i tried to Ben I tried to hit a 215 bench when <laughs> and he my, did. when my max was like 185. Yeah, and then he like hurt his shoulder and he couldn't bench for what? Two yeah, weeks I'd, a month. Yeah, I wait I got a AC joint impingement from that. A PR on deadlifts and decline bench. I don't know. Who, who, who I, PRs who, on who decline yeah. bench? <laughs> what? Yeah, who maxes out on decline bench? Like my bench so my deadlift I just hit 510 for like 0.999 repeating today. He was close. So, okay, um, 505 deadlift, 235 bench. My bench is 220 right now. My deadlift is 420. 420. I hit it today at yeah, 148. That, that'll, that'll be in the video. Yeah, I hit one. I was at, and I weigh 148 right now. So, so. what? That's like 2.8 times your body yeah, weight. It's all right. What's a good fat burning exercise? There's no fat burn uh, cardio, like you burn fat from eating less calories than you burn. So, just do. Just um, I recommend. There's a few things you can do. You can do like steady state cardio, which is like on the treadmill for like walking, like walking at like a three mile pace, um, for like an hour. Or you could do hit cardio for like like that's like going really hard for like 15 minutes or just like like all out sprints. I really depends for, on for your preference. For most people, you want to do steady state. Yeah. I'd say like hit is only really good for athletes. Yeah, I agree. Because um, like all you all you should care about is burning calories, yeah. and steady state for most people will burn the most calories. But if you want to get more athletic, I'd say yeah. If you want to get more athletic, hit. do hit, do like box jumps yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, box jumps are really good. Uh, what kind of creatine do you get? Creatine monohydrate, but yeah. dude, there's some stuff. I'm I might start saying HCL, like it's more expensive, but it's better for your, your gut health, apparently. When you drop in merch, bro, not sure. Dude, I don't know. What even is your merch gonna be? Dude, I don't know. Uh, it's just some like catchphrases. Love is fake gains are real merch. <laughs> That's good. Dude, dude. dude, people would buy that. I'd people buy would definitely it. wear love is fake gains are I'd real. I'd wrap that at the gym. I'd wrap it. If it's mm -hmm. like a sick cutoff, like stringers. Do you still play uh, tennis? Do you still play tennis? Uh, kind of. Like, I haven't played in, like, three months, but... Yeah, yeah we, I, I fucked up my SI joint during senior year. At districts. Yeah, we were, we, we, were playing, we were playing doubles together, and... Yeah, I was literally getting medical attention between he every set. He was literally set. limping to the, what, the, yeah. like, out of the curtain, and he had to lay on the ground, because yeah. he couldn't even Dude, walk. Dude, my left leg was, like, three inches longer than my right leg. Yeah, it wasn't we, good. She was, like, resetting my hip in between every set, like... And that, that fucked me up for so long. Yeah. Best fat loss snacks. I'd say you shouldn't eat snacks. Just yeah. wait, wait a couple hours and have a real meal. Like, and if you feel hungry, just drink water. Or yeah. If, or if, if you're just bored and you want to binge eat, just drink water. Yeah, but I'd say like if you're really hungry between meals, then maybe like sugar-free Jello. 
stuff like that. Something that has a lot of volume and less, yeah. like very like low like, calorie dense food. Like a salad with like sugar free dressing. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Or like some vegetables, whatever. You know. What do you eat for breakfast most of the time? Egg whites and oatmeal every day. Um, it varies for me because I don't really care about what I eat at this point in my life. But when I was caring, I'd eat um, six egg whites um, and some yo and some Greek yogurt. Is there an exercise to reduce gyno? No hate, just wondering. There is no hate because gyno is fucking cool. <laughs> No, there's no exercise to reduce gyno. You can get gyno surgery. Yeah, it's like $7,000. But it's not worth it because no one cares if you have gyno or not. Unless it like literally hurts, I wouldn't look into that surgery. The only person I know who actually got gyno surgery is The Rock. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, The Rock got gyno surgery. He's clearly on his way. What is your ideal physique? And maybe someone who has it, David Lead. How about you? Um, I wouldn't say it's really a person, more of just being like looking muscular and lean and also being like super athletic because i don't want to be that guy that's running that's running like this down the fucking street looking like a boulder thank you how long did it take you to start seeing results for me it was like immediately because i was eating so little calories that i was losing weight like tremendously fast um i would say about a couple weeks i saw some definition in my shoulders and my biceps um yeah like Dude, the veins pop out first. Like, I started yeah, yeah, getting yeah. veins to pop out, like, mm. after, like, a couple of days. Yeah. How important is it to use pre-workout? So, like, the stimulants in pre-workout aren't that important, but what I'd say is important is, like, the pump products. Yeah, I... Personally, I'm not a big fan of the pump products. Uh, I don't think you need it. I think all you need is honey and sodium. Honey... Dude, hu honey doesn't have sodium. It Wait, does. what? Honey has zero sodium. I guarantee you, honey has zero sodium. I disagree. All right, well, look it up. Google it. I can't. You have my phone. No, well, like, the just salt. down salt for that sodium. Yeah. Like, the key yeah. to getting a pump is have sodium. Don't be afraid of salt. Yeah, but also drink water so you don't get hypertension. And dehydrated. And what are the songs that hype you up before you lift? Okay, what song are you going to put them on? Right now, it's called... I don't even know what it's called. Dude, you were, you've been telling me. I know, it has Mallet in the name. It's like Death by a Mallet remix. Um, I forget by who. But you go to two minutes in, it starts getting insane. Pump, get your like AirPods or whatever you have. Put it on full blast right before you're about to hit a PR. You'll be hype as fuck. Okay, Dreams and Nightmares skip to 115. Uh, UCLA skip to like 38 seconds. Um, what else? <laughs> Um, Dude, Riot Overkill skip to a minute, wait, a minute 35. Yeah, Riot Overkill a minute 35. Good Morning Tokyo from TikTok. What do you skip to? I just hear the whole song. The Dude, first yeah. part kind of goes hard. <laughs> do you get more pussy now? As in, like, before I started lifting, I was too scared to talk to girls, so anything's more than zero. I agree. Is vascularity genetic? To no. a point. To oh, a certain oh. extent, yeah. Yeah, I Dude, like, I have stupid vascularity, and my dad's super vascular, too, so... But, like, how you get veins, it's just from the muscle pushing against the skin with, like, less shit between the muscle and the skin. Yeah. And that shit is just water and fat. And as you keep developing, like, in, like at puberty comes on, and, like, you know... Yeah. So then like, you'll, you'll, your, your uh, veins will get thicker. Dude, and... if you want to be more vascular, drink two, two gallons of water a day. Because the, the more liquid you consume, the more you piss, and the less subcutaneous water you have between the muscle and the skin. Like, at first, when you start overloading on water, you're going to be less vascular because you're just bloated. But if you keep on doing that over, like, a couple-day period, then... Yeah, you're gonna start pissing a lot and you'll be more vascular. Your favorite leg exercise not including squats? Dude, I'd have... I'd go with leg press. Leg press? Heavy leg press, really slow on the negative, yeah. eccentric. Um, and explode up from Yeah, I'd say leg press or quad extensions. And try and get as far down as you can. Like, don't just... Like, you see people at the gym kind of pulsing the weight because they try and go super don't. heavy. Go slow down. Try and get your knees to your, uh, to your like, body in a yeah, way. Yeah, knees to your chest. And, um, 
just put like hold it for a second and then push out but don't lock your knees out because yeah, you want to keep that do constant not, tension. Yeah, do not lock out on leg press. You can hurt keep yourself really tension. bad. Yeah. You ever see those videos of people like snapping their legs yeah. on leg press? Yeah. Fucking morons. All right. Yeah, so that's it for the Q&A. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.